Buongiorno from Sicily. I wanted to ask you, I've been getting a lot of views from people over age 60. And if you are considering solo travel, but you haven't done it yet, there's a link below with my top five favorite countries in the description. There's also a link to where to go in Sicily and another one if you're planning a trip to Italy. So here's the thing, I can do a more in-depth video. Comment below yes if you want me to do that specifically for women over age 60. Now I started full-time travel when I was age 50 <clears throat> and before I was doing that, I was doing pretty wild things like taking a bus through six countries in South America by myself, taking several different buses, and uh, going to India, Nepal, um, solo, and traveling over land. So <clears throat> I've been to 34 countries by myself and have traveled by train, plane, boat, rickshaw, motorbike, um, ferry, bus. <laughs> I'm glad I did that when I was 50, that South America six country, six month. That was too many countries, but I did it, and I'm glad that I did it. I would concentrate more on one or two if I was doing it now. However, what I wanted to know is if you want to know more, because I'm seeing with my views on YouTube that a lot of people are watching my content that is directed at women over 60, age 60, and <clears throat> I want to help you. If you want to get out and explore the world, but you really don't want to go in a group, I know there's a lot of uh, solo traveling groups. I lead very small groups, four to six people, two different countries, Mexico, Italy, France, mainly. And <clears throat> they're pretty independent, and I can explain more about that too, but I have a website, and you can go to that if you like. But if you really want to do your own thing, make your own decisions, make your own hotel reservations, and spend as long as you like in one location, maybe even consider moving to that country, that's a, a different approach to travel. You might wanna even do full-time travel, um, which I've been doing and I really enjoy. So I'm in Sicily right now. I've been here for almost two months and there's a lot of different ways you can do it, especially when you are either not working full-time or you're working part-time remotely or you have some savings, you're using Social Security. Whatever approach you have, I can help you with that. So if you wanna see a video more in depth about those topics, just say yes down below and I'll definitely do it. Meanwhile, check out those other uh, recent blog posts, the one on my top five countries for solo travel. There are some more like, you know, the usual suspects, Hawaii, I didn't even put on the list. Hawaii is a great place to go by yourself. Um, I went several times by myself before I moved there. However, um, <clears throat> it's pretty high cost and I want to make this one point before I sign off <clears throat> a lot of people say oh try out domestic travel if you live in the United States first but honestly I have found that travel in Europe is easier and lower cost so if you want to know more about that there are other videos Europe accommodation um I also have an, I'll put that link down to uh, Traveling Europe on a Budget. Because the transportation options are easier. You don't have to rent a car. I rented a car exactly once in Spain the very first time I came to Europe for a week and vowed to never do it again. <laughs> it's very stressful. The rules are not the same, and there's high-speed driving 
all over the place, scary, and there's nowhere to park. This was before Google Maps. So, I recommend if you really want to get traveling by yourself and you don't want to go in a group, um, there's very structured groups. You know, they tell you where you're going to eat. And I have to tell you, some of these places where you're being taken are not the authentic best food local kind of places that I know about, that I'm going to tell you about, because those are the only kind of places I go to. I'm not going to these high tourist, you have to read the menu in English places. I never go to places like that because two reasons. The prices are extremely high and the quality is not high. They're catering to tourists who are used to spending a lot of money you can pay less money and get a higher quality. That's what I found um, in Sicily for sure. So everywhere I've been eating, it's not a big corporate place. So let me know if you want me to do that video and I will be happy to help you and I'll have all those links below.